and I just want to be happy, but it's hard. You know, I'm frustrated. I got really depressed, and I was crying. I wanted to kill myself. I wanted to die. The day that I stumbled on what I saw, it was all an accident, and nobody knew about it. Her secret was safe with me. I remember the day my mom came out the hospital, the doctor pulled me to the side. He said, look, she's never going to be the person that she was. I was nine. There's five of us total, and I'm the oldest. And so at nine years old, you know, my mom had to learn how to walk, talk, eat, everything again. And so basically everything she had taught me up to that point, now I'm turning around, I'm teaching her. And I'm taking care of these, my brothers and sisters. Who Framed Roger Rabbit. This movie like inspired all my comedy because there's a scene in Who Framed Roger Rabbit where the detective says, why are all these people doing these nice things for you? And he says, because I make them laugh, Eddie. If you make people laugh, they'll do anything for you. Please. And I'm like, yeah, that's the ticket. Because I felt like, why am I even here? I can't take care of these kids. And I just want to be happy, but it's hard. You know, I'm frustrated. I was not going to allow my dreams to be shut down. I was nowhere near, of course, where I am today, but I was starting to bubble. You know, I was becoming a, a popular guy, and people knew I had deals and the TV shows. Tiffany's energy was always vibrant, always dope, and she was just present. And you would, you would not be able to tell that anything was going on unless she told you. And one day I'm rolling up in my Geo Metro, and it got all my stuff in there, and he sees it, and he's like, yo, what's going on? I said, I'm in between houses right now. Leave me alone. <laughs> like, and so he's like, we got to talk after the show. We're going to talk. And so he pulled me to the side and talked to me, and he's like, why are you living in your car? And I just told him, you know, what was up? And he's like, you're a beautiful girl. Like, you could be living with any man. Any man would be happy to have you in their house. And I'm like, look, I'm not sleeping with nobody for a roof over my head, okay? <laughs> so he said, he said, well, look, here go $300. Get yourself a hotel room for the week and, like, come up with a list of goals. Make a list of goals that you want to achieve and start achieving, start tackling those goals. and do whatever you want. 